girl please forgive me oh my gosh it was crazy out there you would not believe the traffic like you gotta give me a sock water is amazing like there is nothing better than having water like ice cold water not room temperature water ice cold water after you've been out in the hot sun Ooh. i'd offer you some but we're not really there okay anyway i'm so sorry for running late you like weren't even on my book so it's not my fault i hope you know that um i like wasn't even come gonna come into school today but they called me and they were like oh you have somebody on your books and i was like no i don't since when and i swear to you like those girls out front when i graduate it's on trust and belief because they just always give me clients like i didn't have anybody today like yeah i'm supposed to be at school but i'm paying them so don't come and bust my balls when i'm paying you let's not forget that anyway um i'm really like not prepared so again not my fault but they said you wanted like what did you like highlights or up to something crazy like girl we are a school i don't know who lied and said that we did all that like okay yeah that girl over there is doing highlights but she's like a show-off like yeah they might teach us how to do it but you know what anyway if you want to get your highlights done by her i'm just gonna sit in her seat but unfortunately you can't sit in her seat because there's somebody in that seat so you're stuck with me today and i'm stuck with you so look at it this way you don't want to be here i don't want to be here let's just try to make the best of the situation okay so is there like something else i can do because like i literally have like a comb with me like your hair looks like it's a beautiful color like but it looks real naughty like real damage like i really don't even want to like highlight it because like you already like bleached your hair to get this color oh it's your natural shade oh, okay well whatever like it's just not we're just not doing that today okay so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna like try to brush some of these knots out because I can barely do anything when it's this freaking knotty. Jeez Louise. It's like people like you wanna come in here like to try to save a penny as opposed to going to like a real salon but jokes on you because like we're still students so even if i did two highlights on you they could still look busted you know what i'm saying like like you really get what you pay for here i'm not even trying to like play my school but like I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not not one of those, not one of these little girls that's gonna lie to you. All right, and I'm definitely not gonna lie to you. I don't know who told you before that your hair was like okay, but like you need to brush your hair like once a day, okay? Because you got all this hair, all this freaking hair, and then you expect me to be a hair doctor, like okay. I really hope you could show your gratitude with a tip. Cause I swear to God, 
Can you just tell them not to put you with me next time? Like, that's not rude. I'm not saying you don't kill. I'm just saying, like, I hope you do. Like, I'm here, like, busting my balls to, like, help you look good. So that's the least you could do. We're in America, you know? This isn't, like, Europe or Australia or, like, I don't even know. I, I don't travel the world. We tip here, so. Jeez, please, woman. Yeah, I can see why you came here because. Who wants to deal with this? I certainly wouldn't. Oh my goodness. So, you definitely should buy some like heat protectant because you clearly don't use any. Like, look at these split ends. Come on. You know that looks bad. You came in here today like, oh, some little girl's gonna save my hair. I'm not Jesus again. You could do it. I know you clearly have no idea what you're doing. Because you're not in beauty school. But like, you're not an idiot, or are you? That wasn't a rhetorical question, not. But there are some things that you can do on your own to, like, just to prevent it just from getting worse. Oh my god. Do you even care about yourself? I mean, you clearly must not if you're coming to, like, a beauty school full of kids to do your hair. But that can never be me. Because. Once I'm grown, I'm going to have money. Lots and lots of money. And I'm going to have professional people do my hair. Not to, again, like downplay myself because I'm not, but I don't have my license. So technically that means I'm not professional. I am professional. Like, I got the look. I got the vocab. I know how to talk to people. So... I'm professional, but just like the textbook definition. Your hair is literally freaking getting everywhere on me. Oh my god. You remind me of my dog. And I literally can't stand her hair everywhere. And I love her. So guess how this makes me feel. But anyway, when I'm grown, like maybe your age I'm gonna be rich I'm gonna have professionals doing my hair and my makeup because I don't have time for that and you will never catch me in like a little kitty school salon like are you joking like this is where grannies come you're like pretty much like a guinea pig here like I'm just being honest. And if you go and like tell one of my teachers, that's really stupid because you may not like what I'm hearing, but it's the truth. People come here all the time, like I said, trying to save a penny and then go home more upset than when they came here. It's like you should have just spent the $300 and went to somebody professional. But if you can't afford it, like I get it. Like what do you even do for work? Oh, okay. Yeah, I hear teachers don't make a lot of money. You should maybe teach here, cause then you could probably get your hair done for free. 
it would still be by one of us which is like not the best quality but at least you wouldn't be paying for it it would make more sense if you came here and you weren't paying but that is all you okay so i quite honestly don't think that i can get all of these freaking knots out your hair because that would probably take me the entire day. So. Okay, you know what? So, I'm just going to start straightening it. So it won't look so like frizzy and like yeah um i would use heat protectant but i like didn't bring like i don't have anything with me today and like i told you i really don't like i don't know why they called me in but you should buy some heat protectant so yeah that's you and if you would use heat protectant before this one time without it would matter so you can make sure to buy some before you leave so you'll always have it on you okay Telling me how naughty your hair is. Well, I'm not trying to be here all day. Like, do you see this? I want you to like stop looking down at your book for like one second and like, like I'm really doing my best. Like I'm really trying my hardest and like you don't seem to be. Like you should be your hair's biggest cheerleader. Like you shouldn't have to like have someone else do that for you okay you know like i'm even i'm over like combing it at this point because it's like like if you don't want to comb your hair it makes you think i want to do it i'm not getting paid for this Honestly, I just like I 
can't even wait to get out of this freaking school and be in like I'm moving to California okay I'm not staying in this crusty old town and like no offense to like you and like your family I'm just like meant for bigger things you know and California is definitely where I'm gonna thrive oh yeah I'm not gonna be doing like hair like this I'm gonna be a movie star but you know that doesn't happen overnight so I had to like pick up a hobby or something to pay the bills and this is obviously it I also just don't really like the culture here because I'm gonna keep it real with you I don't want to make you uncomfortable but actually if I do make you uncomfortable that says something about you but I'm not gonna lie the reason why they gave me to you is because I can do anybody's hair and by that, I mean literally anybody who walks into the salon. I'm not afraid to do anybody's hair. I may not want to do their hair, but I'm not afraid to do their hair. And I can always do it. Like, it's going to be amazing. I've never had any complaints. And you will not be my first today. People come in here thinking they know what they want. They don't know what they want. Half the time they'll look at a picture of a celebrity and they think that it's gonna look good on them. Newsflash it won't. Because they're probably not the same like skin complexion or like there's a lot of things that go into hair. Like your face shape or like there's just a whole lot. But the real tea is so Paul Mitchell really doesn't really don't, don't care about black people. I'm sorry, that's the tea, and I don't care who hears me. Like, okay, let me break it down for you. So every week is a new week. So it might be makeup week, it might be like braiding week, it might be color week so every week is a different focus and so there's a week called texture week what does texture mean to you you texture somebody's hair duh but for some reason america wanted to like be weird about things like textured hair doesn't make sense to me everybody has a texture to their hair but they're trying to say like black people also what annoys me is what else is it like when you go inside like stores what will it say it'll say ethnic hair products we are all in ethnicity i know you're trying to refer to the blacks but like it just makes no sense i get through that they don't want to hurt anybody's feelings but i don't know you can say black you can say african-american to me i'm not offended as long as you're not trying to be a dickhead about it but whatever that's just like the white man like tiptoeing around the real issue but anyway my problem here is so like during texture week what are we learning how to do updos what the hell so you're telling me like we only get people in here for updos really around like prom season we get black people in here every day but obviously the black people who come in here they want to be seen by a black stylist because they don't feel comfortable with somebody else who isn't black doing their hair why is that it's because no one taught them how to do black hair they didn't grow up black so why would they work on black hair that makes sense but we're in school so the fact that that's not like 
a bigger thing the fact that like we're literally sitting here doing freaking updos when we're not learning how to like blow out afros and like twist treads and like do a weave like do you know how much fucking money you can get from doing a weave why are we doing updos like this makes no sense So that's really my problem with this school. The teachers are, you know, they're whatever. Everybody's fine. But that would be my biggest pet peeve. Like, I just feel like as a stylist, how can you call yourself like a makeup artist? A hairstylist when you can't do everybody's makeup or hair like me doing makeup I don't like doing makeup on old people because they're wrinkly and they smell weird but if Queen Elizabeth came in here today I would be her face to the gods you know it might not be my favorite canvas to work on but I will one never say no to make you feel bad to make you feel like I'm like this oddball that nobody wants to work with because that's how people feel like I can't even tell you the amount of times I've seen like a black woman like in a chair and there's somebody doing her hair who's not black and just like the pain on their face it's gotta stop <laughs> and it's a shame that like black people dying is like where people actually want to like be woke <sighs> but you know we'll see but that's why I just try and keep my mouth shut so I can get out of here ASAP and move to California yeah so that's really my beef with this school Yeah, we're almost done. Why are you in a rush? Because if you're in a rush, that should have been something that you told me when we first started. Because I either one would not have worked on you, or I would have had like better time management skills. So that's really on you. Okay, but honestly, I'm kind of over your hair and over today. I'm just about done. So you can pick up your daughter from soccer practice. Wow, wow. Having a parent pick you up late from anywhere just builds character. You don't want her to like boss you around and start to like think she's privileged and better than everybody else. She'll be fine. The teachers will not leave her alone. That's illegal. So, yeah. Okay. Beautiful. I think your hair looks amazing. You want to look in the mirror? Okay, just take a look. Yeah. Super pretty, right? What do you mean? It, like, really doesn't look different. I straightened it. It doesn't look as frizzy anymore because you, like, don't take care of it, remember? No, it, it literally, like... Oh my god. It's probably because the flat iron wasn't plugged in. Oh my god. This is like the third time this has happened to me. <laughs> okay, well on the bright side, there's no heat damage. So honestly, girl, you should just like throw your hair in a bun, a cute braid, and just keep it pushing. You have to pick your daughter up from school anyway, right? Or whatever. 
Like, who's gonna be looking at you? I mean, you're not ugly, so, you know? Okay, love. Well, um, I'm pretty sure I have another client. Um, so I'm gonna go check that out. And I'm gonna show you the products that you definitely need to buy, or else your hair's just gonna continue on looking ratty. And if you want it to look ratty, that's up to you. But I'm gonna show you some products that you should definitely buy. And yeah, have a great rest of your day.